Okay, everybody, Jeff Gibby here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, hope you had a good day in the market. Very, very, very flat day today. So anyway, welcome to the class. You should be able to hear me now. And uh, if you would, uh, well, if you would just type in that you're able to hear the audio. Fasto has me a little nervous because he says he can't hear me. So we're going to kind of turn it over to him and I'm just going to tell him when to start. Every I can hear Fausto, so that's working just fine. Uh, looks like you guys are typing, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and get started while we do that. Um, today's demonstration is designed to instruct you in using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Right. Today we have a, a good friend of mine, uh, Fausto Pugliese. I know, I've known Fausto for a long time in the industry. He has a very, very... Um, unique take on the market um, and uh, probably is one of the most aggressive traders um, and one of the most aggressive gurus that we know. He, he has a very, very interesting, I'll say, way to look at uh, level two data and level two screens. Um, he's, uh, he's a nine-time champion of the World Traders Challenge. And so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn the time over to him. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and switch over to his PowerPoint and we'll have him begin uh, speaking now. Well, thank you very much, Kelly, and everyone, thank you so much for being here. I want to do a quick audio check. Can everyone just give me a chat back really quick and let me know if you could hear me loud and clear? Just want to do a quick audio check on myself. Miguel, thank you. Juan, excellent, excellent. Well, hope everybody had a profitable day today in the market. It was a hell of a roller coaster. A lot of big things happened, but most importantly, how do we profit from it? And uh, that is the most important thing, and that's why Metastock uh, – is having me here. Once again, I'd like to thank them so much for having me again. It's been a long time. Know those guys, Kelly, and, you know, uh, for many, many years, seeing them at the Traders Expos and at the money shows and so on, and been teaching for so many years for them. Uh, great product. Want to talk about some of the great features about it, but most importantly, finding out the tools, how to use the ones that you need to use. Now, just to get to let you know a little bit about myself and about Cybertrain University, I know Kelly did an excellent job with a great introduction, but uh, just want to give you guys a little heads up of who I am. Um, I started the first school back in 1995, uh, pretty much the first school out there that's been teaching uh, the markets for so many years, and ever since I've been doing it, I love it more and more every time. So, um, you know, I've trained hundreds of thousands of people over the years. And, you know, and, I, and the most important thing about being a great trader is great traders like to surround themselves with great traders. And, you know, you can see there in the picture right there on the left, that's me ringing the closing bell with Steve Forbes and uh, Kim Gilther, the founder and president of Money Show. Actually, it's a funny, com a funny thing is that not only was that my first time ringing the closing bell, but I always tell everyone that's also was Steve Forbes' first time ringing the closing bell, which I was kind of, kind of shocked. But the great thing about that, uh, that uh, ringing that closing bell is the article on the right, which is Forbes wrote a, uh, wrote a big, big article about a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. Now, I was one of those kids. Now, I'm not a kid anymore. Uh, when I started, I was 22. I'm now 43. But, uh, but I could tell you this. What I've learned – and why the markets allow guys like me to do things uh, back then is the reason why a lot of you are trading a lot, um, have the trading tools and the access to the market as of today. Now, also give you guys a little heads up. Um, I'm a 12-time champion at the Money Show. Uh, I beat every single school that I competed against. And not only that, but Wiley just published my new book, and I'll tell you at the end of this presentation, it's called How to Beat Market Makers at Their Own Game. So it's going to cover a lot about trading there also. Great read, fast read. It's going to teach you everything about how to trade the markets. Once again, it was uh, the first book uh, that hasn't been out in over 20 years regarding day trading. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's a little bit about me. Just kind of tell you that I'm just a human just like you. I started just like you. 
But I want to give, uh, give everybody uh, some really good insight. You didn't miss the boat. Nothing has changed. Okay, you got the right platform in Metastock. You got the right platform um, as in getting the right broker. But the thing is, now you just need the right education. And that's where I want to kind of talk a little bit about, about the execution part of it. Now, Metastock does a lot of presentations. I mean, they go all over the world and they, and they travel all over the world. I mean, I never met a bunch of guys that work so hard as them um, on the road. But the thing that they always encounter, like I encounter, we find the lack of, um, of education, which more or less, it's been also a lack of, edu- uh, of ignorance. And, you know, and some of you don't take this the wrong way because a, a lot of you are not falling in that category because you're here right now. Most people just want to turn the computer off and go home, cr- uh, crawl under their bed, and, you know, and hope that, that whatever they held overnight is going to come back tomorrow. And let me tell you something, there is no, you know, there is no fairy tales out there and it doesn't have to come back. OK, what you have to learn is how to play the game. And the thing is, most people, the number one biggest mistake, the very one biggest mistake is everybody opens up a brokerage account. And more times than others, they open up with the wrong brokerage firm, because a lot of brokerage firms, what they do is they don't give you the execution, which is what we call direct access. Now, direct what's very, what's great about the Metastock system, it gives you all the bells and whistles and all the uh, and you know and they and they appease everybody. You know, if you're a swing trader, day trader, options, forex futures, technical analysis, paralysis, whatever your whatever rocks your boat, whatever you do, the system is so damn powerful, and that's why people love it. But the thing is. Every one of you are a case-by-case basis, okay? And not every one of you need all those bells and whistles because the whole idea is what you first have to figure out is what kind of trader are you, okay? Because everybody here will have a different layout on what to use and what not to use. Now, when it comes to the execution system, one of the most important tools out there that I kind of educate people what to use is called the level two quotes. Now, does everyone here, now I, I'm going to constantly keep asking questions. I want to make sure you guys are following along. And if you don't ask questions, that means that you are totally lost. And uh, please excuse me from living in New York. We kind of talk a little fast. We're very fast paced people. But I'll, if I do just kind of just say, Fausto, could you repeat that again? Or could you work slow? I'll be happy to do that. But does everybody here know how to read level two? Could everybody just just let me know. Give me your, your honest opinion. Do you know how to read level two? Yes, no, a little bit. Have no idea. Cap says he can. That's good. Thomas says he can't. Jim says no. Anyone else? Not too many of you here. George, what about you? Miguel? Thomas? Glenn? Fred? Frank? Okay, now we're getting a couple of yeses. All right. Now, you ha- guys have to understand the difference because there is something called level two and there's something that we call level three. All right, I want to tell you the difference. Now, level two, what it does, it's going to tell you who wants to buy it, who wants to sell it, how many shares, and at what time, okay, and at what price. And you get a lot of data here as in knowing where the buyers and sellers are and who wants to buy it and sell it, but it doesn't give you all the data. What I mean by it doesn't give you all the data, it doesn't show you all the orders out there. Now, I have a question for all of you. How do stocks go up and down in the market? Can everyone answer this question? How do stocks go up and down in the market? It's a very simple word. Everybody should be able to answer this question. Let me give you some advice. If you can't answer this, log out of this meeting and go back to your day job. (laughs) All right, good. Looks like most people understand supply and demand. So what I call is follow the money. All right, now let me explain to you how powerful trading is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were able to see 
70% of the volume of a stock that you're in to know where 70% of where that volume is going. What I mean by that, by seeing 70% of the buyers and sellers out there, how much better, smarter, and more money would you make on a trade? I mean, what is that worth to you? Is, it wor is that worth anything to you to, to, to learn, to know where 70% of the volume of the stock that you're in right now? I mean, does anyone here know where 70% of the volume is? If it's on the bid or if it's on the ask? Any of you guys know? David, David is the only one that's going to admit that he has no clue. Well, you know what, David? Thanks for being honest, okay? Because you know what, David, and for everybody here that obviously is a little nervous to bring that up, I'm going to teach you that. I'm going to explain to you how it works. I assume everyone here knows how to read a chart. Okay, here's your buyers, okay? And here's your sellers on a chart. That's your resistance. That's your support. Now, you notice the stock right here is testing a support, um, basically hit a resistance levels, and it's right back here again. Okay. Now, what do you think the stock's going to do from where it's at right now? Do you think it's going up or down? What, is, what, what do you guys all think it's going to do from the data that you can see on this chart, up or down? Don't know. David says up. Jim says up. Thomas has no idea. Kat says up. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what makes support and resistance levels is buyers and sellers. So if you look on the buy side, you got a 75,000 share buyer. On the sell side, you got a 2,200 share seller. 27,000, 75,000 buyer, 22,200 share seller. What do we have more, buyers or sellers, everyone? What do we have? Buyers. So what do you think? If we have a lot more buyers, what do you think the stock's going to do? Go up or down? It's going to go up. It's going to go up. Exactly. Now, did a chart tell you it's going to go up? No. Chart doesn't tell you it's going to go up. Chart is predicated on volume and past data. It's the buyers and sellers that are out there. Now, let, let, let any light bulbs kick in yet, ladies and gentlemen? Any light bulbs? <laughs> All right, because when I went out there and my when I first started and my mentor kicked, uh, told me this, I, now I realize why every time I lost money in a position, I was always on the wrong side. I mean, how do you not use this data? How do you not know where the buyers and sellers are? I mean, why would you even go out there and – I mean, can anybody here trade with blindfolds on? In a car? I mean, you think you could actually, can anybody here sit there and just look at GPS and say, oh, I could drive a car just looking at GPS? <laughs> I don't think so. All right? So not all, you know, all the programs are going to help you to see supply and demand. Now, there's a lot of great tools and bells and whistles that you could implement in the execution system, but you also want to see that data, you know? So that's why volume is what controls the market, which what we call is HFTs. HFTs are high frequency trades. So, I mean, when you really think about, ladies and gentlemen, what is it really worth to you? Is it really worth anything to see 70% of the volume? Because let me tell you, when you have 10,000, 50,000, a quarter of a million dollars on the line, and, you, and, and sometimes some of you guys overextend more than you could really afford. And you're wondering why you're getting what we call shaken out of positions and wonder why every time you buy a stock, the thing goes down and every time you sell it, it goes up. Well, if you just saw the buyers out there, it probably would have made perfect sense. And let me tell you, 95% of the people in this world, maybe even 99%, don't even know this data was available. Okay. Now, this is not the Fausto Puglisi or the Metastock. This is NASDAQ's data. This is called Total View. You can get it on the Metastock platform. Okay. But once again, you got to turn it on. But the thing is, it's not just turning it on. You need someone to show you how to use it. 
you know, I could sit there and tell you how great this car is, but if you don't, if I don't teach you how to drive it, you can just end up crashing it. Looks great, but it's not going to help you. So that's one of the main things what we do, and we call these iceberg orders. That's what we call these big, big trades. Now, when it, so when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, always need to know where the information. Uh, Lucas has got a great question. Is this information acceptable um, acceptable to the public, Lucas? Which I love your name because that's my that's my young my it's my baby's name, uh, my young uh, my young son Lucas. But Lucas, I wouldn't tell you about it if it wasn't. Of course it is, and that's what that's why you know I was that's why I was twelve time champion and I beat every school. That's why if you ever come and visit me and I do a trading presentation or maybe come and see me uh, or see when the exchanges talk, they'll point me out of the crowd because this is what they want you to learn. Of course, is data. But the thing is, you need to know how to use it. You just can't go out there and says, oh, it's great. Let me try it. You know, it's a little bit more complicated on that. So the thing is, it's called level three. It's called total view. It works. It's going to help you. It's not going to help you find stocks. It's not going to, it's not going to, uh, you know, it's not going to, uh, you know, but it's going to basically tell you where the volume is. Okay. So the thing is, when you're looking at a chart and you see support, resistance, support, resistance, support, and you wonder, well, what's the stock going to do? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Well, most people think, well, with support levels, it's got to go up. But to go up, you need buyers because that resistance level is right there at 1620 is being controlled by the 10,000 share buyer seller out there. But when you wonder why it bounced here and now it's there, well, if there's no 10,000 share buyer out there. It's all relative, ladies and gentlemen. Um, how close far away is the current price to uh, do you track the buyers and sellers, Dave? That's an excellent question. Almost to the penny, David. Almost to the penny. Now, how do we know if these orders, I always get people always say, Fausto, are these real orders? I heard people cancel them. Well, first of all, no brokerage firm will allow you to put fake orders. Okay, that's number one. Number two, how do we know if these orders are being canceled? How do we know they're being executed? Well, that's where time and sales come in, comes in. And the Metastock platform does an excellent job of giving you that data. But here at Cyber Trading University, we'll, we'll show you how to use that tool to know if they're getting executed or if they're not getting executed, knowing if they're, if they're big block orders, knowing who's buying it, who's selling it. You know, remember, everybody, why are you here? You're here to make money. I mean, I had this debate with some guy. I, I just did an event um, I, from Orlando, and I had this debate. This guy comes up to me. He's like, Fausto, I don't understand. How do you buy stock and don't know what the company does? I said, because I'm not an investor. I love, I love Costco, but I don't own it. I'm not going to day trade it today or swing trade it. It's not that type of a stock, you know? What about Angie's List? Remember heard about Angie's List today? Who here owns Angie's List as an investment? I, don't, I never even bought a damn thing on Angie's List. Meanwhile, the thing was up 30% today, you know? Everybody's like, 30%? Wow, that, that's a different story, you know? It's no different than you going to a store, you know, and it's going out of business. They're like, you know what? I never went in that store. All of a sudden, you pass by, and they're like, oh, 90% off. What are you thinking to do? Well, if you didn't shop in there when it was 90, you might shop in there now. Why not? What's, what's the worst thing that could happen? You could find something that you need and get a great deal on it. Remember, you're, this is – one thing I always tell everybody is that this is a business, and you're treating trading like a business, all right? There's a lot of big movers out today. I'll give you another, another very big mover today that we traded here at Cyber Trading University. Did anyone hear of a stock? This one right here. I'm, I'll put it in the chat. Um, CA – PN. Anyone here is CAPN? Anyone have their execution system? Why don't you bring it up? CAPN. Anyone see that stock today? CAPN. Can anybody tell me anything about it? I'll give you guys a couple of seconds. Why don't you look it up really quick and tell me what, tell me what you find out about it. What did you learn about that stock?
C-A-P-N. All right. It doubled. I think it more than doubled. It was up 150% today. It went from $2.80 to $6.60. And do, and do me a favor. Don't ask me and tell me, well, what does the company do? I, I don't know. and I don't really care. At the end of the day, if I, I people can't even make 10% a year. And here's a stock that went 150% a day. How do we know it's still going up? Why did it go up? Because the buyers kept bidding it up. And that's the way how you have to look at it. It's about making money. This is a business. And one of the parts of the business that you guys have to understand is time management. Because trading is not a full-time job. It's a part-time job. And the thing is, if you have your execution system up, if you look at every stock, I want you guys to understand that 90% of your time is spent on education. 10% of your time is only spent on trading. Now, when I, do, when I trade and I train my students, I only trade the first hour and the last 30 minutes. That's it. The rest of the time, I, I have fun teaching people like you how to do it, to do the same exact thing. That's, by the way, for some of you probably want to know why I teach. That's why I teach. Because I was bored, I had nothing else to do. And I was basically <laughs> semi-retired at the age of 24. And people kept asking me, hey, what are you doing here on the golf course? Could you teach me? And, you know, sure enough, I'm like, you know what? I hate seeing people like you lose money because I was one of those people. So what's better than losing than having someone teach you how to do it? That's the way how it goes. All right. Um, how did you select the ticker symbol to trade? That's a great question, David. A lot of that stuff that you're asking, a lot of that stuff, um, is on the execution system, on, on the Metastock system. It's on the top percentage gainers and losers. If you look at it, it was the number one biggest percentage gainer on the NASDAQ market, okay? Angie's List, that was up 55% today, went from 590 to 790. That was the second biggest. I mean, they're all up there. You know, it's that's where you basically find them. But David, if you want to really, really, really want to see this stuff. But by the way, have any of you guys ever been in a professional trading room? Any of you guys ever seen real live tradings, trades like this? Well, guess what? At the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite all of you to come join me and see it in the real market conditions. You know, so that's the thing that I want you guys to kind of look forward to at the end of this presentation. Now, one thing I do notice that a lot of people make the number one biggest mistake, actually, it's the number two biggest mistake. Number one is opening up a brokerage account because um, most people open up the wrong company. Second biggest mistake is I see people just get too damn tied up with the indicators. And everybody's trying to find the, uh, the next crystal ball, all right? You got to know the KISS method. Keep it super simple, okay? You can't go out there and think that every, the indicator is going to tell you where every stock is going. And the more you learn, the better you're going to get at it. it. You know what? First thing is first, why don't you just learn how to play the game first, understand supply and demand, and go from there. Let me just tell you a couple of potential incomes that you can make out there. If you bought 1,000 shares, and if the stock moves 50 cents, 20 trading days, about 10,000 a year, it's about over a six-figure salary. Okay? Now, you could have definitely made 50 cents on Angie's list because that stock went up like $4 in one day. You could have traded in CAPN. Okay? That stock literally went up about $4 today. You know, 50 cents. 50 cents. It's not hard to do. You know what the hardest part of the thing to do is the discipline part. That's the hardest thing. But how many of you here are on Social Security or um, are too qualified to go back to work or just, you know, just tired dealing, running a business and paying insurance and, and employees and, you know, and, and taxes? You, got, you, you, you have the opportunity knocking on your door of having one of the greatest jobs in the world. That's right. Yeah, it's, David's like, my boss is a jerk. So be your own boss, David, but be smart about it. Because you know what? The reason why 
your boss is a boss because he did something right. Okay. Um, he learned something. He worked hard. I mean, I, I don't know your boss, but I'm just telling you, I am a boss. And I could just tell you that I worked very, very hard to get, to get where I am. And my employees know that, but my students, um, <laughs> my boss is awesome in case he's, he's watching this video, Kelly. <laughs> well, I'll put a good word for you, Kelly. Don't worry about that. The thing is, is that being a, being a trader, you can be your own boss. You can do it from the luxury of your home. You can do it in your pajamas. Actually, when you hear a funny story, my, my wife loves trading so much that she came out with a new line of clothing for traders. It's called Trader's Guitar. You've got to have trader's pajamas. I mean, how great is that? Why not, right? Well, that's the beauty about trading. Enjoy it. That's what it is. You're supposed to be trading in your pajamas, hanging out all day, and you could sit back and enjoy it. But you got to look at the potential income because every single one of you guys need a mentor, though. So I just want to kind of give you all a, a, a little bit of advice. I might not mentor you. Maybe you don't like the way I sound. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's not that you're kind of trading, you know, or maybe just kicking the tires a little bit. But I want to leave everybody off with something very valuable. Regardless of what you thought you learned today, every single one of you need a mentor. And I'm not talking about a free mentor because there's no free employees, all right? You're all going to have to spend a little money, and you got to take the time to put on the side. Listen, nobody became doctors and lawyers and professionals. Um, you know, listen, colleges are absolutely ridiculous in price these days. But listen, why they, why they charge what they are? Because they do, they, you know, listen, we all have our own debates about it, but they can get it, number one. And number two, people know they need to be educated, all right? So don't go out there and, and not prevent yourself getting educated. Every single of you need a mentor. You don't need to go out there and spend a lot of money to do it, but you need to get an idea if this is the type of trading and what you're doing. And, you know, today's a great, to me, this is a great interview, you know, of seeing what it's about. So let's think about what we've learned today. What we've learned is about high frequency trades. We've learned about, about charts. We learned about supply and demand. We learned about um, online brokers and direct access. We learned about level two. We talked about how to find some stocks. Now, the next thing is, is this what, is, if you want to move forward and learn a little bit more about it. Well, you could follow us um, on, you know, we, we post our day trading picks. I have thousands thousands of videos on um, maybe, I don't know, a thousand, maybe, maybe a couple hundreds. Uh, I don't want to blow, blow too much smoke out there, but I've been doing this for 20 years. I don't even know how many videos I have, but I post a video every single day on YouTube of our pre-market, but you can get it live. I'll tell you in a few moments how to get it live. But if you want to start learning today and making money today, this is what I recommend you guys to do. Um, you could come and join me, watch me trade live in the market. And you could see me actually place bids and offers, but not only that, but you could actually um, we'll meet other traders that are trading side by side that we've trained and seeing how we mentor them. So you get an idea what it's like to be in the real market. So listen, if I got you in CAMP at, at $3 and got you out at 6 today and made you 100%, if you want to see that happen again tomorrow, guess what? We do this every day, and this is a great opportunity to get a, a one-day pass to see what it's like. Now, if you really want to do it right, what I recommend you to do is this. Buy my book. It's $49. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go through a full explanation about how to trade the markets, and you get two weeks in our trading room for $49. So you got two great offers here. You could do it for... You could join for free for one day, or you could, you could get the book. It's a signed autograph copy to you from me, and you get two weeks for $49. And as a bonus, if you do register right now, I will throw in my, my Discipline Cyber Mousepad Clock, where it's, it's, it's our number one bestseller. It's going to tell you the best times to trade, the worst times to trade. So for the first 10 people um, that register right now, we'll get that for free. All you need to do is call 877-70-CYBER. An education advisor will be standing by and will take your call. Um, or what you could do is um, you could register right on our homepage of the website. I'll give you guys the link for that. And then what I'd like to do in the meantime, while you guys are doing that, 
Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to put in the chat room. I'd be happy to answer it um, as we're watching, as I'm reading it. Let me just give you guys the link. That's the link for the book. And if you just want to join to get the one-day pass, you can go from there. Uh, Andre, what about automation trading up to generic algorithms and similar? Well, Andre, listen, that's the least of your problems right now. You know, a lot of people look at that stuff. Is that a, is that a concern and this and that? Listen, you're going to see those orders out there on the high-frequency trades. And if you come when you trade live with me, you'll see them out there. So, you know what? Everybody's so threatened about dark pools and high-frequency trades. I, I don't know what you're afraid about. The reason why you're afraid because no one ever showed you what it is. Come and join me. Watch me for two weeks, and you'll see it every single day. Um, what did the 2200 buy side control the 74,000? Um, I mean, okay, Captain, what you're saying is that that 47,000 share order, there was someone out there buying 74,000 shares, okay? And we all know stocks go up due to supply and demand. So what we saw there was a big demand, and that's what happened. The stock did go higher. So when you looked at the chart, you're like, well, some of you thought it was going higher. It, it went up because it was, the, it was the buyers out there, not because the chart said so. Remember, the chart gets its data from time and sales and from orders. Yes, that, that is a demand. Well, Cap, like I said, come and join me tomorrow, and I'll show it to you all day long, and it'll make perfect sense. You know, you got to understand something. You know, I'm not a really good PowerPoint presenter, but I'm a very good trader. So if you thought the PowerPoint was good, and, and I kind of hit a couple of light bulbs, why don't you come and watch me trade, and I'll show you a little bit more. Very hard, you know, everybody, you can always show, see the kind of highlights of it, but it's a little bit different when you see when actually the game's being played. Learn a hell of a lot more there. The, the thing I always tell everyone, the worst thing that could happen of you coming is you learn something. <laughs> That's the worst thing. All right, any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Do you train people on how to trade options? Yes, Jim, we do teach options. Uh, we have great options instructors here at Cybertrain University. Uh, but let me tell you about options. If you want to be a good options trader, you better let me teach how to trade stocks first because it's the movement of the stock that makes the option move. So if you don't know how the stock's moving, you're not going to be a very good options trader. All right. Any other questions? No problem, Thomas. Well, thanks for coming, Tom. Appreciate the uh, you being here and taking the time out and listening in and out of your day. Hopefully, you learned a lot. Any other questions? All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, um, for anyone who wants to register, just click on those links or just give us a call here at Cyber Trade University, 877-70-CYBER. You also have my personal email address up there if you have any questions. Uh, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, I will be at the New York Traders Expo. Uh, I have three speakings that are going to be on Sunday. I don't know if anyone's going to be in the area. I know Metastock's always there, so I'll be hanging out with those guys down there. So uh, feel free to see you over there if it's possible. In the meantime, for myself and everyone here at Cybertrain University, I'd like to thank you for taking the time for being here. I'd like to thank Kelly for having me again. It's always been a pleasure to talk to all the Metastock Meta -trader uh, Meta traders. And then if you once again, if you want to learn more, and watch some live trading and feel free to watch some videos or feel free to enjoy us and come watch us tomorrow morning. Thanks so much guys. Enjoy your rest of your evening. See you all tomorrow. Happy trading.